Oh, what is going on, everybody? How you doing today? It is Thursday. I was going to like throw some kind of name at it, but I had nothing. Um, we're having a bounce back day today. Yesterday, ooh, not a good day of playing Call of Duty. Uh, we're going to have a good day today. And you're like, hey, man, you're on like four or five hours earlier than you normally are lately. Yep, I just felt like playing, so we're going to hop on and we're going to get going. Um, if I have like red eyes and I sound a little bit weird, it's allergies kicking in, man. It is... 80 something degrees here today it's been like that the last couple days mowing the lawn there's stuff kicking up so i got my allergies going dude okay so one of the things from the last couple of days we've been dealing with on stream is the whole delivery from amazon i'm supposed to get this like new light source thing to try to spruce up the background here so it arrived last night like right after i got out like right after i closed down the stream it got here so I sent out a picture of it on Twitter yesterday, so you can check that out if you want to. Uh, I, you know what? I can unplug it real quick and show it to you. Eric, what's up, man? Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, this is the little guy right there. That's what it looks like. Just a little spaceman. Um, and now the plug fell back there. So I have to get on the ground and, uh, and go pick it up. But we're going to plug it in and see how it looks. And I actually plugged it in last night. Now, the kind of the bad thing is it's middle of the day. I'm going to like turn, make things as dark in here as possible um, in order for you to be able to see this better. But um, you'll have a look. It's, it's not like it, this isn't like some Pink Floyd laser light show or the uh, what's the, the sphere in Las Vegas. Like it's, it's not going to be amazing, but it should look pretty cool. Let me plug this thing back in. Oh dear. Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, I mean, it's the middle of the day. This is as dark as I can make it look. Like I said, dude, 80-something degrees here today. <laughs> and you're like, oh, how does it look? Well, I mean, it's not plugged in yet. Hold on. And I honestly, I didn't even line it up with, like, the camera, so I don't know exactly where it's going to move. And I, since I just moved him, the little guy, I don't know where he's going to exactly be facing, so we'll turn that on. There's so little, <laughs> like it's just for a background, and it's, so it's like a whole little star nebula kind of a thing. So it looks all right, right? Like it's better than having just plain white, like just blown out, kind of all whiteness behind me. I mean, I'm pale enough, and then the pale white <laughs> wall behind me, it just looks terrible. So anyway, that's what it is. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. I mean, it's really... I mean, if I had the camera bigger, but I, I mean, we want to see the game. We don't want to see me that much. It's way brighter than you thought. I mean, it. it, it I got to be honest. With you, this thing was like maybe 30 bucks or something like that. I told you guys, like, uh, I saw the thing on Instagram and um, I was like, you know what? That actually looks kind of cool. Fits the zombies theme like the mastery camera it does. The, it's interstellar, right? It's the interstellar camera. Um, but that's the whole deal is it's like um, the star nebula kind of a thing going on behind you. It's like a galaxy kind of a, a thing going on. Anyway, it's just and so it'll change colors and it kind of goes back and forth. I like you guys can let me know if it's too distracting, if it like it's constantly changing. But I like the blue kind of where it is right now. Um, I think that kind of looks good, but um. You know, w w I'll leave it up to you guys. Or I can just let it change. I think it's kind of a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, so I had clicked on it. Like, I never click on things like advertisements and stuff on any of those. I mean, I, I really don't spend any time on, like I said, on Instagram. Um, like, not much at all. But, uh, 
this thing was there, and I was like, that actually looks really cool. And I've been looking to do something with behind me. And for, like I said, I, I didn't know how much it was, but I clicked on it just to check. And it took me to their actual website. This is a little box, by the way, that comes in. It's like Astronaut Starry Sky Projector is what it's called, if you want to look it up. Um, totally up to you. I, I don't have any kind of deal with these people, so like, I'm not getting anything if you buy one. Um, and like the, the the price is like normally it's a hundred and ten dollars, but it's on sale for forty dollars now. Like, okay. Um, and then I was like, still forty bucks for this little thing. Like, I don't know, because you know, you know, it's never as good as they say it's going to be. And it honestly, it's not, because they're like, it does the whole room. And if I put it all the way in the corner over there, it might be like it might do a better job of like capturing more of the room. But for the stream, I don't need it to get more of the room. I just need you guys to have something going on in the background here so it's not completely just boring and dull behind me. Uh, but I found it on Amazon. I looked on Amazon and it was like, I think 25 bucks or something like that, $28, somewhere around there. And then with tax, like, you know, so it was like a little over $30 it cost me. So not bad at all. Um, and it does actually work. I'll give it that. And you just plug in, it's just a USB, plugs into the back of the little astronaut man. And the little guy actually looks kind of neat too. So it's not like a, just some dull, like if I turned up my LED strip light back there, like you just see boring ass strip like on the ground, like you're taping it to the ground and everything. Uh, so this is like the daily thing, but we've already, no, I don't want that. What, what just happened there? I don't want that decal, decal. Why can't I go? I don't want this. Let me go. It won't let me leave this page. Jeez. Dude, they're always selling to you. Make the game good, then sell to me. God damn, dude. Don't start the day like this today. <laughs> like, we're going to make it a good day. We're, we're going to make it a good day. But don't start the day like that, man. Like... God, the, the, the stuff that they're selling them, that whole $80 melee fist thing. I mean, again, you know, somebody was here yesterday that uh, I, I don't remember exactly who it was that was going to buy it. Like, good for you. Do whatever you want. It's your money. You can do anything you want with it. It's yours. But just that that's the focus for the, uh, from them and not making the game better. And Codename Pizza just put out on Twitter, like, you know, thinking back to uh, uh, Black Ops 3. And, you know, I just kind of responded to it and like, yeah, you remember, it just made me think. It was just like, yeah, you remember when the, the developers really had a passion for zombies? Like, they were trying to make this great story. Thinking of, like, the, the Fallout show that came out last night, like, creating a world, creating an environment, this whole new place, this different kind of a thing, and committing to the story of it and to, like, the reality of it, making it like, hey, we're owning this, this is our place. Uh, that's what we need, man. Not just like perfunctory. Well, here's the Warzone map. Here's some shit. You know, like, and I, again, I don't dislike this mode. I like the mode just fine. Just, I have to say it every single time. I don't want it to replace round base. I still like round base better. It's not that. I just, it's a fine mode for a year. If they had continued to update it, and we're not getting that. That's the perfunctory part. It feels like they're obligated to and we've already been through like how much it's been passed around from Treyarch to High Moon to now to Sledgehammer like don't even know who's really working on it do they anybody even care that's what we need is to feel that passion from the developers again um I mean I don't know if we'll ever reach BO3 levels of like wow this game is incredible again but um you know it'd be nice to try how about, like, that's all I want, really, is for them to try. I guess we'll put this on. Uh, so what we're doing today is we're checking out this KB broadside, by the way. Um, you saw it a little bit yesterday already. Uh, there's this conversion kit on it, which was, honestly, this jawbreaker thing, it's terrible. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on for the first game. And then we'll, we're will we going to take it off and try to make this gun good. Because with this on, honestly, like I said, it's bad. You're going to see what I'm talking about here in a minute uh, when we actually get into the game. But um, you can't see. That's the thing, too. When you have this 
mod on, you can't change the ammo. Like, you can't make it, um, you can't put the slugs in it, do whatever. Like, it's part of the conversion kit is it's set. Uh, so, can't change the barrel. We could put a muzzle on it, but I don't think that's going to do us any good. Uh, we'll, we'll check a stock on this thing. Makes hip fire better. I think that's probably going to be the one there. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that. So, <clears throat> we're going to give this a full shot so you guys can see it. But then what we're going to do after this first game that we're going to play with this is we're going to take a, we're going to take that conversion kit off the Jack Jawbreaker and we're going to try to build our own version of the KV broadside, one that's actually good. Because, like I said, this one is not good, and you're going to see what I'm talking about here in a minute. I I don't know if my back button on my back paddle is just not working. Okay. By the way, so on the... Just so you know. On the Elite controllers you have here, you can see this little light. You have three different... Or really, kind of like four different settings. So if I press the button, it'll you see the two lights go up there. And then three lights, and then no lights, right? And that one, I just need it. I'm not giving you guys the finger by doing this, sorry. <laughs> but uh, um, it was on nothing. So that's why I couldn't click back before at the beginning. So that was actually not even the game's fault. That was my fault. So we're going to have this, uh, the KV broadside on. I think we are going to unequip this. Actually, we're going to put this in our, excuse me. In our open slot there, the, our primary slot. We're going to have the Scorcher run. I guess we'll go ahead and use it because I have four of them in my... Uh, I had four of them in my stash here. And we want to create some room in the stash. I need to try the conversion kit in Warzone. I wonder how it would be. So the, basically the whole deal with this conversion kit is kind of making it into... According to Call of Duty. Is they're making it into like a battle rifle. So they're making it much more of a long range weapon. Um... Again, I'm not really feeling that, but whatever. We can chuck this on. Um, what's ready as far as we'll do one of these here. Do one of these here. Uh, we will, you know what? We're going to put on one raw just for the scorcher so we can get around a bit better. Um, what's ready? Uh, like, I can just. Dude, just, I have another scorcher ready. Okay. Let's just unequip that. I need to start getting like um, ether blades and uh, golden armor just in my uh, stash, just sitting there waiting. I have three spots at the, uh, two spots at the moment open, and we have four. Like okay, again, I don't need four. I mean, I kind of you kind of do, but I don't really at the moment need four scorchers just sitting there waiting. Um, so that's all we really want to kind of craft that we can craft at the moment. So let's just give ourselves some perks to get in this. Uh, we'll kind of do the standard ones, I suppose. I mean, they're standard because they're the good ones, right? I mean, they all have their benefits. Okay, we'll load in with this. And we're just going to test this out. We're going to head into uh, Tier 3 eventually. Um with this we might even pop into i don't know we might pop into <coughs> the dark ether rift we're not going to do the tier like tier four tier five stuff where you you know you have 30 minutes or a half hour you know 15 minutes to go in there get it your where you get the schematics and do all that kind of stuff but uh we might I, it's just been a while since i've been in there so we might just pop into the rift you know right in front of the bathhouse there the one bad thing about this by the way is so this little guy, I moved, like last night I had him over here on my desk, shooting that way, and I was like, you know, it's too close, because that laser, there's like a laser, like, especially the, the stars, the green stars that you see now. Like, there's a projector in the, his mask, and then, like, on his, on top of his helmet to the side, there's like a laser that shoots out that's giving you the, the, the stars themselves, not the whole nebula effect. But it's super bright, and any time I kind of even like like out of the corner of my eye catch it it's like uh <laughs> doing one of these so if i do that during 
during the stream here. I'm not having a stroke or anything. I'm just trying to avoid uh, having my retinas burned out from my little astronaut man. But all right, let's hop in. Let's get into this. Let's go. We're gonna we're bouncing back today. Today is bounce back day. We're gonna have a good day. Yesterday was not good, man. Yesterday was not good. Just a bad Call of Duty day. The game kind of hosed me over quite a lot, to be honest with you, and uh, just was not feeling it. Did you guys watch Fallout the new the show on? Uh, on Amazon yesterday, I watched the first episode, and I was go. I one, I was gonna watch more, but um, I started it late. For one, for starters, start, 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 start. I keep saying start. Um, so I didn't want to like get into it and like just fall asleep on like in the middle of the second episode. But also, I kind of, I I was feeling a little bit distracted at the time. Why, why are there no zombies? In this zombies game. There we go. I just want to show you like what it's like. So this is not pack a punch, no ether tool on it at all. Three three shots. The hip fire on it is terrible. Uh that's something we saw yesterday. It's really bad. It's just not accurate at all. And I have, like, all the attachments that I put on, basically, um, are really to improve hipfire. Because, for me, zombies, I don't really want to aim down sight. Like, look at that. Like, that didn't hit at all. I don't want to aim down sight if I don't have to. Because you're just faster. And the whole the way the aim assist works and everything in this game, it really pulls you into uh, the zombies that you are you might be trying to, you know, kind of run around or away from or whatever and uh aiming down sight just pulls you in even harder so everything i'm trying to do with zombies is to make my hip fire better more accurate um and all that and this gun has terrible 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 hip fire well this with the conversion kit on it has really terrible hip fire again this the second game we're gonna play uh we're gonna try to build our own version of the KV broadside that is actually good <clears throat> because as this is now like I had thought honestly when I saw this build like this is one of the conversion kits because a lot of the conversion kits are really good uh, when I saw this one I was like oh man they're gonna make that shotgun super OP and uh, I really wanted to try it and then I hopped in and played it and I was like ooh, it's bad like it's it's bad bad all right, uh, we're just, I was just trying to, like, check out, you know, kind of show, wait a minute, I was like, oh, where'd it go, where'd it go? <laughs> like, what happened to my, to my scorcher? Okay, we're gonna pop that after this animation that takes 17 hours. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, dude, that's the one thing about this gun that I don't like. Because this is my favorite wonder weapon in the game now. It's like my second favorite thing in the game at this point. Um, is that animation? It's just like, woof. Yeah, in general, made conversion kits OP. Yeah, I mean, I think they already nerfed right the um, the Renetti in multiplayer. Anyway, I think. I mean, they said they were going to. I'm not sure if they actually got to it yet, but they said they were going to. Let's see if we can go snatch this up. It's not really what we need. <clears throat> I mean, we need points, so it, it is what we need. And we actually need to get our character built up over 100, um, whatever that number is called again. He just took it right just when I got here. <sighs> Should have seen that coming, huh? Okay. Pull that out. You know what? This is even better. We're going to get more money from doing this. So, yeah. Um, if you weren't here yesterday, I was playing before I got on stream. And actually, right there. Like, right here. Right past this wall is where it happened. Uh, where my little pointer was there. Um, the game crashed on me. 
and I had a lot of really good stuff in my uh, backpack. And I had somewhere between 150 and 175. Uh, what what is that stupid number called? Where you exfil and you you know so you gain the um, the benefits. Like you know you start with uh, 5,000 points, you start with five armor plates, blah blah blah. Uh, whatever that number is called, I forget. I always forget because it, I don't know. It doesn't really seem to make sense the, the name of it to me. Um, but anyhow, when my game crashed, I was like, again, somewhere between 150 and 175 on that. And uh, when the game crashed, I, I I came back to it. Containment, yes, I think it is containment. It's just a weird name for that. It doesn't make really make sense. To me. I don't know. Containment number for that. Um, it was down to 75. So I lost literally somewhere between 75. Locke, what's going on? Somewhere between 75 and 100 containment level points. Because the game crashed on me. So I went from, like I said, 150 or 175 down to... 75 literally exactly 75 so i think it was i think i was at 175 but i'm not sure so i'll give it the the game the benefit of the doubt there and say it was a little bit less than that but um i mean that's that's an insane amount of points to to drop because the game crashed i didn't do anything bad about it so anyway we're not gonna we're not gonna um dwell on that kind of stuff today we you know i've done it enough but that's what i was just saying with the whole thing with codename pizza put out that tweet about you know black ops 3 and back in the day and like how like it was incredible and i just responded like yeah and really what it is is it just kind of hit me it was like we're not feeling that level of passion to create we're just getting perfunctory we've got to create a mode we're not let you know we're not hired by we i'm kind of putting myself in there she's like all of a sudden they're not like giving they're not hiring creative people to be in charge of it they're just kind of doing a thing because they're supposed to do that thing and uh i really hope with gulf war that we get back to that like i'm creating this because i love it and uh i want other people to experience it as well josh i think if you get a in another game after that happens and just exfil, don't do any contracts. It resets. Really? I wish I had known that yesterday because <laughs> I definitely would have done that. Uh, I got to remember, I don't need a vehicle. I have my Scorcher and I want to use it too. So let's keep, yeah, let's pound out some contracts like quickly. Are they going to go for that? Marking contract. We're going to get up in the sky and we'll, if they get it, that's fine. We can go to another one. Let's just get up in the air and start heading to a contract at the moment. That's good to know, uh, Josh, though. Thank you for that. So they definitely snagged that. So let's have a look. We can go do over here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I really wish I had known that. So those of you that watched the Fallout show last night, uh, what did you think? I liked it. I never played any of the Fallout games, so I'm a little confused. So as I was saying, like I was a little bit tired last night when I actually watched the first episode. So I didn't want to go on to episode two because I don't want to get too far ahead because I'm going to go back and watch, rewatch episode one just to kind of figure out like, okay, this is that. That's what's going on. I mean, it wasn't, there was a lot of time jumping around and that's what confused me the most. Um, like the actual following um, story-wise was not hard in the characters, but it's like the time jumping kind of stuff. Uh, well, there's a lot of it, and so trying to figure out what's happening when exactly is where I want to get like myself kind of corrected and on the and knowing exactly what's going on before I start. Like I'm five episodes deep, and I don't really know, you know, who's doing what or who's where or whatever. So, um, also, if you have Xbox Game Pass, you can get uh, Fallout 76 for free right now uh, on Xbox or PC. So check that out in your Game Pass store, whatever, you know. Again, if you're on PC, check it on the PC. If you're on um, the console, just you, you can find it in your home screen uh, pretty easily. Uh, again, I'm not being paid by any of these things. I'm just mentioning it because it's 
video game stuff to mention. I don't get paid by anybody for anything, to be honest with you. So uh, you don't have to worry about it being like a paid advertisement kind of a deal. Because I don't have any of those. I would happily take them. I really think, Starbucks, you should hit me up. Every day I'm drinking a nice coffee on stream. I mean, where is that, you know, uh, sp uh, sponsorship? Give me the creator code. You guys can order your Starbucks and be like, yeah, and uh, use code name Switters on that on there. You get the the free uh, pink fuzzy drink. Did he drink? What is okay? Dude got so scared. He's like, oh no 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 no. We're not. I'm not fighting Switter. <clears throat> I haven't tried it. I heard it's someone's stream, so I'm not sure if it's true. I'll give it a shot though. It's worth checking out, Josh. For sure. I mean. Anything that you could do to, like, restore what you... It's not... It, like, I was going to say what you lost when you... I mean, you lost it, but, like... If I go down, if I do something stupid, like, if it's on my own fault, whatever. That's me being dumb. <coughs> that's my fault. My bad. But I don't like, you know, when the, the game just basically steals from you. It's like, you just took my shit for no reason other than your servers are bad. Man, Cisco needs help, but where? This is a legendary tool, double path, by the way. Whoa, easy. Okay, all right. Settle down. Like this gun, I'm telling you, it's not good. I mean, you can see that, I'm sure, but like, it's a shotgun. Look at the damage it's doing, which is not a lot. Like, when have you ever seen a mimic take this long to kill? An HBT mimic in tier two, double papped with a legendary. Like, he's picked me up three times now? Drop that because I don't want to go down. I'm not going to go down for something stupid. As he picks me up with the other thing. I mean, how many plates am I using for this guy? This is. Like, this is how bad this gun is. It's not even worth using as a, jo as a joke. I mean, four times he took all my armor? Does that sound right? Like that, I, I I had a whole bunch of extra armor, and now it's all done. Yeah, so like this gun is, like I said, it's bad. Like it's it's legit bad. Like I wouldn't use it at all. Uh, what gun is this? So I don't use. It? <laughs> this is the KV broadside, uh, but this is we have the conversion kit on it. It's the new kit that you can unlock for this week's challenges. And all the challenges, by the way, you can get done in one game. Like, I, that's, I did it in one game, so it's not that hard. Um, it's so weird. Dude, I, I really think they just buffed the hell out of the HVTs. With Season 3. I think that's what they did. I don't think they really touched um, the regular mini-bosses. I think they made the HVTs, like, really strong. And this is what one of the things I'm talking about where I, I've said it in the past and in other games. Um, rather than kind of think of something creative that they could do, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect uh, comparison because we just did a mimic, an HVT mimic versus a regular mimic in tier two. And by the way, like all the stuff that's coming at me right now, like you're not getting a moment's breath here, like. Uh, uh, we had the Disciple mini-boss. We had an, uh, a Mimic mini-boss. Like, stuff just keeps coming. Um, but yeah, I think that they what they did was they just bumped up the health of all of the HVTs by 
whatever percent, whether it's 400% or 500%, I don't know, but they really bumped it up. Um, and I don't think they really touched anything else, but it's one of those deals that rather than kind of being creative and coming up with new things or new ways to make the game interesting or, you know, um, like, these bolts just don't hit sometimes, man. Yeah, I gotta keep this in mind. Like, this is actually a dangerous gun to be... Like, in, I mean, Tier 3 really is bad, but even Tier 2, like, I gotta be... Genuinely gotta be careful. This gun is really bad. Like, the damage on it is just... It's non-existent, just about. Um... Yeah, but instead of, like, doing something different and creative and thinking of ways around it, like, oh, just make it stronger. Or just make it more. Here's more. Here's more. Making, giving you more will be harder. Like, we're not looking for our contracts to be harder, are we? Like, they're contracts. They're not... I, it's like... I don't know. And maybe you guys disagree, which is totally fine. Maybe, maybe the contracts should be harder. I don't know, but... To me, the contracts are kind of, you know, you're just going along doing... Like, there are things to do on the map. Um, the real kind of goal is doing um it's doing like dark ether kind of stuff you know getting in there doing easter egg kind of, and there's not really any easter eggs in, in this game but um other than the initial solve to get into the you know with upgrading the like the four items we did have to do it twice um that's kind of easter eggy but oops um hey let's, let's just go around because i saw something at the end of that i don't know i want to get locked in before I deliver my cargo here. Um, but, like, you should be able to, I think, I don't know, I, to me, you should be able to kind of pound out contracts a bit. Like, not just burn through them like they're nothing, necessarily, but... I don't know, man. It just feels like the health of the HVTs is, like, way, 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 way up there now. And, it, like too much so which one was mine's this one right oh actually i don't need that why do i keep uh i'm not even gonna bother trying to do um hpt contracts in tier three uh with this gun because i mean i've been testing it since season three started with pretty much like i don't know a, a lot of guns WSP Stingers, by the way, still number one. Uh, I think right now, probably the best guns in the game to use. The dual wield, <clears throat> even though they're pistols, uh, they're super strong. Uh, they're not super strong. They're good. And they're strong enough to get the job done. Um, so, yeah, that's my recommendation for weapons. The tiers, I tried those the other day, and they are still good. Um, the problem with them is the same problem as always, is... A lack of ammo. I don't think I've ever been up here. They can definitely hit me with their their meat up here, I'm sure. But nobody's trying to. Kind of a nice, peaceful little hang up here. Look at this guy. What are you doing, pal? Um... Yeah, so the Stingers are still the best. I do want to try, maybe we can even try that today, is the uh, the WSP Swarms, which is the the, uh, the SMG, just in case you guys don't remember. The dual wield. Oh, and I did, I think I told you, I don't think I showed you, I did use the... Um, the Renetti conversion kit. Uh, you know, the pistol conversion kit. The one that's kind of broken in... In uh, multiplayer. I did try it out in Zombies, and it's 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 fine. It's okay. Certainly not OP. There's actually a ton of recoil on it. So, with Zombies, you don't really have to worry about recoil too much. But at that initial kick, it's like... Poof! They patched it yesterday. The uh, the Renettis they patched. 
So, I mean, don't even bother then, I guess. But I tried it, yeah, yesterday or a couple days ago, and, it, you know, it was fine. It's not better than, like, the new SMG that's just came out, the, uh, the Horix. So, uh, thank you for that info, Eric. Um... So I would just say, don't even bother. I mean, unless you wanted to use it just to use it, then of course, do whatever you want. But uh, yeah, as far as like, is it really strong? Is it really good? No. Okay, so now we're gonna have a Mangler. Basically, it's the exact same contract. Tier, uh, tier two, let's see how this guy goes. Because, you know, the, the whole strength of the mini bosses used to be uh, weakest was Mimic, then Mangler, then Disciple, then Megabomb. Although... Oh, we're Triple Pap now, so this is going to be different. No. But I mean, I think it's fair to say even in the past, like before Season 3, Triple Pap, Legendary Weapon, this is a Tier 2 HVT. He would have been dead that first clip. First magazine? I don't think it would have taken that long. Regardless. So, I mean, I definitely think they just buffed the hell out of um, HVTs. I, they were already stronger than the regular mini bosses. I don't think they really. I, I'm, I'm kind of always verging on that, like, eh, how off do I want to go on this? Like, have I already complained about this enough? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear me complain about it anymore. Um, it's, not, it's not even a complaint. I think it's just a, a fact of the game, to be honest with you. Let's just drop right in from there. Um... Yeah, I just, I don't think they need to make the hard things harder. I don't think they need to take the good stuff that we had and make it worse. I think there's plenty of issues in the game that they could just focus on to fix. The crashing, the texture issues, the, uh, you know, zombie spawning, like, underneath the ground. Um, you know, and then... I've showed you guys a couple of spots where that happens, and you guys have dealt with it as well, so you know what I'm talking about anyway. Um, like, look. This weapon swap on this thing is so slow, too. That scorcher. That's why I was, like, fumbling there a little bit. Like, I'm like, did I press? Swap weapons? Like, what's going on? I mean, I know I pressed it, but is it registering? Um, <clears throat> Terminus chopper inbound. So, yeah, I don't think they needed to focus. Like, I think their focus is entirely in the wrong place. But I think, you know, if it was in the right place, it would take a lot more work than, like, hey, just bump up the strength level of the HVTs. Like, just push that slider up to, <laughs> you know, 300%. Rather than fixing... Hey, that whole problem we're having where uh, zombies can, like, it's a, like a, a slope here. They can spawn either here or here, but they're underground. Like, that's harder to fix, so why bother? I mean, we're almost six months into the game. Although they keep posting numbers about, hey, this is the most players ever uh, right now on... I mean, that was during the free play weekend last weekend that they've ever had, so... I mean, if you got that many people still checking it out, your game, like, why not make it better? Oh, that's just me, though. Marking contract. Uh, but you guys have a fair idea now, like, honestly, of how this KV broadside with the um, the Jack uh, conversion kit, w like, works or really doesn't work. Like, it's just kind of bad. A lot of the conversion kits, like I said, they're really good. The one before that, well, it was a couple weeks before that, I think, actually. Uh... For the Bruin, I think I, I like it. It's just that you don't have a ton of ammo. The only problem with that is even when you're pack a bunch, I think it's 120 rounds, 
and um, which is not bad. And you do reload really quickly with that, with the conversion kit on it. Like it, it definitely you can use that gun. Like it's it's certainly doable. The only downside is again, it's just not a ton of ammo, but it's still a very serviceable weapon. You could absolutely do all the stuff in the game, that, you know, with it, and you'd be all right. Oh, these guys are gonna get in my way here. Okay, we're gonna take a new way around. Uh, it's not even on the map. Where am I supposed to take this? This is one of the things, like, this is the stuff that they should focus on. Where am I supposed to be taking this delivery? Because it's not showing up anywhere. I'm just going to go to the usual places that it's it could go. Um, if it's across the map, we're going to have it like it was across the bridge rather, then we're going to have a problem because I'll probably honestly run out of uh, gas before you even make it over there. So here's one place it could be. It's not. There's another place that it could be is just right on along this road, but oh, is it? There's a helicopter, but that's not ours. There's the physics thing that they changed to in season three where your vehicle gets airborne super easy. Uh, it's not there though. It could be just past this underpass over here, or, which is more likely, we're we're supposed to go to the other side, across the bridge, because I would see the helicopter by now across the bridge here, and it's not there. So we're gonna have to, <laughs> like, we will run out of gas. You can't even do it. You can you get uh, basically about halfway around this map. Before you run out of gas. Here, let's try this. We're going to get lit up hard. But, I mean, th we literally... Would not make it back over there. I mean, at this rate, they're going to blow up the, the, the vehicle. Anyway. This is what I'm saying, like, they don't bother trying to fix this stuff, like, these issues, because this is a known issue, it's been like this for months, where you get into the cargo delivery and the marker, you know, where you're supposed to actually deliver it, just doesn't show up anywhere, so you just go to the usual spots, and in the past, there were only, like, two spots where you would deliver um, the cargo, so it wasn't cool that it happened, but you could get there, right? It wouldn't be that big a deal. But now they've changed. They've added multiple uh, locations where it can actually uh, spawn. We cannot go into Tier 3. We will break our vehicle. For sure. Um, so now, like as you saw, like we there were three places on that side. But there's also the places down at the end over here. Like near kind of a late opera house area. Like, I don't even know if we're just if we're even going to make it with the, the whole gas situation. This is a PvE mode. Again, not the PvP. PvE. And they you can do a half a lap around the map in a vehicle before you run out of gas. So, it's we're looking at like somewhere over Enemy I marked myself cuz I'm in the car. We're just going to have to get lucky here. And we're, all we're doing is looking for the actual helicopter. We're gonna die. That's it. Okay. No, fuck me. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of the perfect example of what we we're talking about. Like, where their focus is. Why did that just catch on fire when it should be healing? That was very strange. I don't know what was going on there. Um, it's just kind of funny that we're talking about like where their focus should be, and I think it's in the wrong place. And then we just got a great example of it. Like, that's been a known issue for months and months and months and months. I honestly think at this point, they should just take away uh, the cooldown timer for everything like just just strip it just get rid of them 
No more cooldowns on anything. Um, just make your game, just let people have fun at this point. You're not really, you don't really care about it, obviously. Like, it's not even your mode. You've been thrust into the role of having to take charge of it because there's literally, there's nobody else to do it. So, you don't want to really do anything. Just let us have fun. I mean, that doesn't seem like the worst thing that they could do, right? Hip fire on this is so bad. Whoo. Okay. All right, let's do some more contracts. Da, 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 da. Please. That's, well. Okay. Anytime you interact with anything, like we were just using that little that little handheld device, you know, to activate our contract, and you like try to go to reload immediately afterwards or fill your plates like I just did there immediately afterwards, there's always a like it's a delay of like three seconds before you can actually do it. And it's just one of those things that it, like it absolutely drives me nuts. It's not even a bug or anything like that. It just drives me nuts that you can't just get right to it. It's like I'm trying to do the thing. I'm trying to do the thing. I'm trying to do the thing. It's not letting me do the thing. I'm trying to do the thing. <clears throat> I'm not even saying again that that's a problem. I just I think it's probably designed that way, and I, I just it makes me nuts when I can't reload or refill my armor when after coming off something like that. What I do think is an issue, I mean, it definitely is, is like the whole thing when you hop out of a vehicle real quick, or like when... Big nap, what's up? Um, it's kind of like you were... You're under attack or you're in a tight spot for some reason, or you, I think it's like you're really kind of doing inputs too quickly. You're hitting the gas. Flat out didn't do that. And it just disappeared. <clears throat> okay, one, <clears throat> I did not throw my Casimir. Like, I did not touch that, the, my left bumper on my controller. Two, I threw it and it just disappeared. But it's kind of funny because it's exactly what I was talking about. Because I'm pretty sure it's the exact same mechanic. Like what just happened there with that was exactly what I'm talking about when you are putting in, like you're in a vehicle and you're driving and like maybe you get like stuck, like you got pinned in in a, in a tight area, like you, you whipped your car around here and you got stuck here and like you're getting swarmed by zombies and you're just trying to get out of the vehicle now. And when you get out, like you, <clears throat> you're going from driving, pressing the right trigger and then you're hitting B to get out real fast. Uh, it's like there's too many inputs going on and you're also using your sticks to move and then for some reason you throw your Lethal grenade every time you when you hop out when that happens, which it's been like that since the beginning of the game As far as I know, I don't even know if there are I mean, we know they don't actually play their game, right? Um, Marking contract. They've not done anything to fix that yet and then it just happened there because I think it the game realized like oh he didn't actually press the button but my character threw it so it didn't actually activate because i didn't press the button i don't know i mean i'm not gonna lose sleep over not having a casimir grenade all of a sudden but like Hijack this shipment. I, want a five finger I i just want i just want it to work it really is all it comes down to I mean, for a triple pap gun with a legendary ether tool on it, like that's not that takes a while to kill these 
soldiers, these mercenaries. So this one actually did show up. So that's good. We actually ha know where we're supposed to be going now, so that's cool. Ah, <clears throat> oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I think tomorrow, yeah, April 12th, uh, I told you guys there's that new custom map called The Crazy Place coming out by Hybes, H-Y-B-S. You can check him out on Twitter or YouTube. I'm pretty sure he has a YouTube channel. I, I know he does, actually. Uh, it's not Hibs. I think it should be Hibs. It looks like Hibs to me every time I see it, but it's Hybes. Anyway, um... It's a kind of reimagining, uh, like it's it's basically Origins, but I'm not sure if there's a main quest Easter egg, or if it's just a um, a survival kind of map or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna download it, and that's what we're gonna play tomorrow on stream. Provided it's actually kind of working, uh, a lot of custom maps when they come out, they're kind of like broken, and you can't play them. Uh, he's been doing this for a while. Um, and has made a lot of really great custom maps, so more than likely it'll be fine, but you, you just never know. But uh, I think that's what we're going to do tomorrow. It'll be a nice little break from MW3, to be honest with you, as well. So I, I'm looking forward to that. And again, like I said, I don't know if there's uh, a new Easter egg on it, if it's just survival, if it's whatever. If it's... He put out a trailer uh, about a week or so ago for it, and... Initially, it looks like it all takes place down in the crazy place, and it's called the crazy place. But um, there are some uh, shots of it, like above ground, like through uh, throughout regular origins, the rest of origins as well. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect, to be honest with you. Our last contracts broken for anyone else? Ah, I haven't tried. How so? Big nap. Maybe I should, I should try one. Marking contract. <clears throat> in what sense is it broken again I apologize for allergies they, they just literally just mowed the lawn I got my windows up it's really nice out the last couple days I've had my windows open and uh, <clears throat> man allergies are going through the roof I, I think I'm going to start taking like a Benadryl like right before I go to bed every night which one it'll just help me sleep the Benadryl anyway uh, but two just to kind of maybe like having that the histamines or whatever antihistamines near to no zombie spawns I had to copy the elites to get kills you had to copy the elites I would like to cancel the contract you mean like in I did them. Um, I mean, I did a couple of these yesterday during the stream, and they were okay. <clears throat> I didn't notice any difference. Although, ooh, remember this one? This is where always we got major lag. I think they had fixed it back in last season, two in season two, uh, uh, two reloaded. But you guys remember the, like the crazy lag we would get in here doing an Outlast contract? So I hope it's fixed. No, if I get that contract to 54%, then 55%, back and forth, and copy elites. Okay. I don't even know how to do that. The whole thing for me is I know you get to like 95% and then cancel the contract, and then you just get never-ending spawns if you stay close. Jeez. Super sprinters. I do think they fixed the, uh, the, the lag issues that were happening in here. <clears throat> I mean, that's going back to last season, even. You know something? I haven't noticed my Shatter Blast go off even once. I mean, maybe it has and I just didn't notice it, but... I haven't actually noticed it go off yet. Kill that disciple ASAP. Oh, 
making music with my gun. If only my acoustic engineering professor could see me now. Okay. Oh. Bastard. For a while. Uh, they didn't attack most of the time. They would be zoned out. You, do you have a dog on the uh, map with you? Because um, if you have a dog, they will go after the dog. Uh, we're going to stow that real crazy out there. Because we're almost done. We're going to be leaving. The map soon. We only have five minutes left to do some contracts. And again, right now we're just kind of building up the uh, our character again too, because um, again, what happened yesterday with the crash? I just lost like seventy-five to a hundred containment points. Like, <laughs> oh, it's bad enough that the game crashed. And I lost like a lot of really good stuff, like you know, golden armor and ether blade and. The refined crystal, I actually don't don't even, or the flawless crystal rather, like I don't even really mind that because, I mean, when you do have your containment level up over a hundred, like you're probably starting with uh, raw or refined anyway. So like getting the few extra points that it takes, plus you get the discount on the pack of punch and all that kind of stuff, like it's it's really not that much of an inconvenience. I honestly just don't mind that at all, but like a legendary ether tool, losing that, I mind. Uh, golden armor, I really mind. Ether blade, I really mind. A scorcher, I would really mind. Can you guys give me a second? I think they really just, you know, part of what they did was just like, oh, we need more, more zombies, more, 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 whatever. <clears throat> give them more health, give them more of them. Just more, more. That'll fix everything. Okay. Again, we're not bitching today. We're just pointing some things out. It's just a fact of the game. So we're, you know, it is what it is. No dog, no teammates, just me and the Haymaker. Huh. How is the Haymaker, by the way? I haven't used it uh, in, uh, in the new season, I don't think. I kind of thought what they, what they were doing with this uh, KB, the KB broadside was basically you know going to uh, to replace the haymaker, which is why I thought it was going to be really good. And it turns out, oof, it is not. But we're gonna try next this next game here. We're gonna try to do a custom build on this thing um, and see if we can't make it a good gun. Did I just get credit for legacy being killed? See that? Like how that zombie was halfway into the ground? Because we have different levels here. And a ramp. Like, see? Look at this. They don't fix that stuff. Anyway. Whatever. I mean, that's just what I think they should focus on. Not not these other things, but... <clears throat> hey, that's none of my business. To me, Manya. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna get all the way over there. We're gonna have to boost, boost, boost. I think the, uh, those guys in the truck... Are they going for that? They just hopped out of the truck. I don't know. We'll try it. <clears throat> Haymaker not bad with slug. The Haymaker is good, yeah. A Haymaker I got no problem with. Well, with a conversion kit. I don't know about just the regular Haymaker. Uh, but we're going to try. That's something I had forgotten about the Lockwood. I played with the Lockwood the other day and I was like, ooh, because this was my favorite gun for like a, a couple of weeks there. And then I basically stopped using it. Um, and I played with it. I was like, oh, this isn't... Like, it's okay. It's not... They definitely did something to it, and I realized no, no, the biggest thing about that was you needed to put the slugs into it. It's like ah, so then I I switched it up and I went back into the game and I put the slugs on. It's like oh okay, it's it's still good. But there's nothing like amazing now, um, from what I've been able to see anyhow. Like there's nothing where I'm just like this is so good. Like I want to use this. So far for me, it's still the WSP stingers are the best uh, that I've been trying out since season three um 
they really do the job. I mean, they're not OP, but they definitely do the job. Oh, there, there's my Shatter Blast. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, we can slow that and bring it into the next game. I think we can head we can head out. Um where is the storm? It's close. Let's start heading north. We could probably do We could do one more. Before we actually have to leave. By the way, uh if you could hit that like button, uh, we got very small goals here. We're just trying to hit ten likes right now, so that'd be great. I'd appreciate it if you could do it. Again, it just just helps out the stream. YouTube gets it in the algorithm, and that's how this whole thing works. So I'd appreciate it if you could. So yeah, the thing with shotguns is we gotta, and again, we're gonna try to build our own class now after this, um, with this uh, KV broadside, and try to make it good because it's not good with the conversion kit. And I think probably a big part of that is uh, the ammunition that you're using. Which is not great. So, uh, we're, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try to make it uh, better here. Plus, you can put in, like, the, I think it's a 50-round drum on it. And then you pack a punch it. Basically, you're doubling it. So, you might literally be doubling it to 100. So, um, that'll be good as well. Lots of zombies here. These guys are having a party. And we gotta do something to make this hip fire way better. Because the hip fire on this thing is terrible. actually heading in the direction of the exfil which is great <clears throat> I will be curious let's see this is a triple pap legendary now on a tier 1 HVT mimic so we saw how long it took against the tier 2 mimic the HVT okay that instant melt okay at least we got that uh let's we're gonna replace this so, no problems there. That's fine. Okay. Did somebody call that in? Looks like it. Dude, this Scorcher, man. I just love it now. I really do. Okay, now they these guys called it in, so I don't know when they're actually going to get on, so i got to stick close to it. Actual helicopter. Get off the dog, man. I shouldn't have grabbed that. I don't know if they're trying to get kills for camos or whatever, but I shouldn't have grabbed it. I guess that guy's staying. Okay. 
Okay, and I asked that y'all can you hit the like button, and none of you did. That that hurts my feelings. All right, so that's the KB broadside with the Jack whatever conversion kit. Uh, I don't even know remember what it's called. But now we're gonna try to build our own because that one is not good. So we're gonna try to build our own now. If I hit it again, it will unlike. <laughs> That's true. So don't do that. I think we'll bring another Scorcher into because I love having a Scorcher, man. Oh! I wanted to go into uh, the Rift. I forgot. Somebody hit it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, did, um, are we still in double XP right now? It looks like it. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I just want to burn through this battle pass. Although, I really... I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get through it. I was going to say, like... I'm thinking like, okay, season three and a half is coming up. Like, that's the end of it. We're going to get a new battle. I was like, no, that's not the case. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're going to have another month of it. Anyway, they took away my stupid Casimir. Okay, so let's... Um, we're going to take the conversion kit off. That's gone. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to... I'm going to take that off too. We're going to kind of rebuild this. So first things first. Mag... Uh, 25 rounds. So it's not 50. <clears throat> pack a punch it'll be 50. That's what it is. Okay. And the 12 gauge slug, uh, Dragon's Breath, or Explosive. The 12 gauge slug, I, from what I remember, is just the best one out of all of these. Uh, the Dragon's Breath in previous games would be the one to go with, but not in this one. Um, so now again, everything that I do for this stuff is really about the hip fire. Uh, pretty much all my guns in zombies, I want great hip fire. So we're gonna put that on now. We're gonna, uh, but we're gonna check. So we have, we're upping this like two times, basically. As you can see, the double arrow is like basically doing it like two times, going up. Um, not exact figures, obviously, but whatever. Slug count went from ten to six on the haymaker when I packed it on six. Ooh. Making things worse. Uh, la, 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 la. So this one might actually, the Ripper might be. Stability. Aim, idle sweat doesn't matter to us at all. Firing aim stability doesn't matter to us at all. Aim walking steadiness really doesn't matter to us at all. That we get like a little bit of a bump on the recoil control here is like okay, but the walking speed goes down, so uh, we want to be mobile as well. Um, I think we're gonna movement speed down two times, like that's not good. Not if we're gonna go to tier three or you know, whatever, like you don't want that. You gotta want to be able to move, man, move. That goes down. Okay, so I think we're pretty good there. We're gonna leave that like that. Let's check out the laser. Uh, hip fire improved a little bit. There is no downside to having this on. So hip fire recoil control and hip fire intact stance spread. Like, definitely. Um, and that's our five attachments, I guess. Or we could, I don't know about this. That improves our hip fire as well. Now the thing with this, <coughs> uh, like stockless might be good, but the well, actually it improves the hip fire hip fire recoil control, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't like it to go all over the place though. But usually with this something like this, like and again in zombies, it's really not that big a deal. I 
kind of, uh, you know what? I think we're gonna pop that up. Okay. Oh, I. Oh, because this is from last year's. What do I need for this? Tax dance? Alright, we'll get 250 kills with this in tax dance. These work exactly the same, it's just different camos. Because this is an MW2 gun, that's why. Okay. Okay, we'll pop on tax dance and, uh, and see how we do. Okay. Um, now let's load up. Ooh. Okay, we don't need two of these, so let's just unequip that, because we have a little bit of room right now. I don't need two of these, so let's unequip that. Let's go ahead and add... We're going to go ahead and put on a Scorcher again, because we have four of them just sitting there, which is nice. It's a good problem to have, right? Um... That way we can get around, we don't have to worry about vehicles. Uh, we still want to do contracts and stuff, but uh, it's not our main focus. We're just trying to see if we like we created a good gun here, really. Um, <clears throat> we could put Shattered Blast on again if we wanted to, but I don't know. Hey. We could use a Blood Burner. Uh, you know, it's funny because I mentioned it during yesterday's stream. Like, you know, they made that a schematic. Like, think of the last time you even saw a blood burner on the map. Like, can you think of one? Because I don't remember the last time I saw one. Like, they made it as uh, the schematic. And for like three days, a bunch of people used it. But then that was it. Nobody gave a shit about that. Like, yeah. I mean, and then, like, we got the beret coming up as a schematic. Uh, season 3 reloaded. I don't know if any of you guys follow uh, the Call of Duty League, the competitive Call of Duty, but... So, Major 4, which I think was this weekend. No, 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 no. Well, now, okay, what, whatever. Now it's taking place June 27th. I don't know the date it was supposed to start. There is, like, a competitive Call of Duty weekend this weekend, though. I don't know which week it is. Is it two? Is it week three? Is it whatever? I don't know. But it's not happening in Charlotte now. And the tournament will still take place on land, but no live audience. It's going to be in Burbank, California, like, right down the road here. To ensure his team still have... Uh, the standard one week of break post matches, major four qualifier week one, will now start on May 31st of the Challenger season, also shifting one week. Streamed on YouTube. Full schedule can be found at Call of Duty League.com. I don't know why it got changed, um, and when it was initially supposed to be, but it got changed for some reason. <clears throat> I see one abandoned once once a week. The uh the um the blood burner. Yeah, dude, like nobody uses it, man. Got to wait for the animation. Click 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 click. Click Click. And we gotta wait for this animation too. Okay, thank you, finally. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. Dude, allergies, the beginning of the year, it's like you can you're not used to them yet, and I don't know, just like they take over. Hip fire still not awesome. So it's a KV broadside issue, not that build issue. Well, not that, you know, uh, that uh, conversion kit. Let's get ourselves a dog.
The hip fire is not good on this. Let's go ahead and send this just in case somebody else is doing it or they get lucky and they go down there. Oh, dog spawning inside of. Let's get out of there. Can I not be stuck on the railing? What the hell is just happening with my movement there? Yeah, hip fire with this gun is just bad, period. Um it's just bad. I'm gonna grab all the armors. Cause if I can get and we're gonna check around here too, because we can get a third piece of uh meat, flesh. We can scorch her into tier three, get the dog, and then scorch her out. And then have a tier three dog with us the whole. Why did that happen? So let's go ahead and just do like a regular couple of contracts. Uh, and if we get one more meat, we can definitely go to tier three because there's only three spots that uh, dogs can spawn in tier three, so we can hit them very easily because you you know you can't see them on the minimap until you're close. So you can't just look and go, oh, there it is. Let's head right for that. So in tier one, that's an issue because, I mean, there's a lot of different places where it could or could not spawn. But in tier three, there's only three spots. Yeah, and then the schematics come in talk, talking back uh, uh, about that with the, the blood burner and how I, I mean, it's just kind of a waste. Um, we got the beret schematic thing so the mercenaries won't target you, which is, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I don't know. It just, it's not going to be the kind of thing you want taking up space in your, in your stash. Ever, right? I mean, I, I don't want it taking up any space in mine. I know that. <clears throat> Did you drop me one more chunk of flesh? That's really what I wanted from out of doing this. Let's do this. Uh, we're going to do this uh, raid stash contract. Really, we're just trying to get a bunch of zombies so we can um, get one more piece of flesh. And then we can, like I said, we can scorch her into tier three. And then we can get our tier three dog and we can scorch her out and just continue with the contracts. And just keep moving. It's just this gun is so much better when you aim down sight. Wow. Although there. But head fryer is random, so like that, all of a sudden it doesn't hit at all. Yeah. Oof. You're stuck, buddy. Nobody's dropping meat. Oh, I don't have a uh, an ammo mod on this, do I? You gotta aim for the head. Aim for the head. That's how you get him to explode and drop meat. That looks like a piece, but it's not. There it is. There we go. Okay. We can get a tier three dog. That's great. 
Oh, there's another piece. <clears throat> we'll give him all four pieces so he's a big, healthy boy. Poor girl. I know, picky. Get it, Barrera? I know. talking about that okay okay let's go let's hit the we're gonna go get our dog immediately because every boy needs to have a dog taking bets right now 10 to 1 odds the dog's name is gonna be fluffy so first place it could be is right there and then up on the hill is the second location, and then the final location you guys know is on the outside over there. So we'll see when we get over here. Has anybody, I gotta ask this every time, has anybody seen a dog called Not So in this? Anybody? Because I have not, as far as I can remember, I have not. I've had Fluffy a few times, I've had Pickles. Ow! I just yanked it right on my fucking ears. <laughs> hurt. And I just messed up. Oh my god, okay. Stupid cords. Can't we just be wireless without having to, like, hook things up and do things properly? Just just make it wireless. Oh, and now it's not gonna be right and it's gonna drive me friggin' insane. It's fine, it's good enough. Screw it. Uh, can be here, but it's not, so that means it is going to be over in this general direction. Let's land on top of the bathhouse and we will jump into the air again, and that way we can land safely on exactly where we want to land. Oh, and I'm not hearing this properly. My mic now is going to drive me fucking crazy. Should have boosted again. You can see the smoke from it right there. So no zombies at the moment. Let's try to be quick. There we go. Um, you know what? Where is Pack a Punch? Because we could double pap. While we're oh no, there's one right here. Let's just go there. Okay, we're we're not gonna hang out in tier three right now. Um, I mean we we just we're not set up for it yet. I just wanted the tier three dog. There we go. Just double papped. Oh, I love how it does that every time it teleports. Okay, let's get back to the contracts. And we will grind. And at the end of this, remind me, just put uh, put uh, DA Rift in the chat, please, and I will remember. It's been a long time since we've been over there. I'm kind of curious as to how the this shotgun will do as well. Because it's, uh, it's not bad, but it's not awesome. Right? It's definitely not awesome. But we're going to have to pound out some contracts because we're, we're going to need some points. That's almost never there. Okay. We got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of armor right now, so we're good. Listen up. My dog's Coming going off the back there. Smaller weapon runs. They just made themselves right for the picking. It's really aim down sight with it. It's really not bad. I don't know why, for these guys, it doesn't... I don't know, it just seems like it takes more hits than it should to kill the mercenaries. I don't want to stress you out, bruv. But the mercs have scrambled a bloody helicopter. Do you guys wish, like me, that they would have these actors add new uh, voice lines? Like every single time you do a cargo contract. I don't want to stress you out, bruv. Right. 
record maybe like two, three more lines. Be cool. But whatever. We're just throwing off the helicopter behind us. Doesn't know where to look. Doesn't know where to go. Yeah, I think tonight, man, I'm going to really dig into uh, the Fallout show. Well, if they did, it'd be in a bundle. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know what? You're not wrong, man. Hey, you want some new? Oh, God. I'm actually, that just made me a little bit. You want your, uh, the characters to have new voice lines? Just buy this bundle of new voice lines. Like, I mean, again, that $80 melee thing. I mean, it's your money. Do whatever. Honestly, mean this. Like, do whatever you want with it. It's your money. If you think that's a valuable use of your money, then by all means, get it. And I'm, I'm not even being facetious. Uh, there's plenty of things that I buy in my life that other people would look at and be like, why would you get that? Like, what, what is that for? Um, but to me, it's worth it. So if it's worth it to you, then by all means, like I said, go ahead and get it. Um, I just think eighty dollars to get one thing in the extra in the game, one melee weapon that I don't even think they. I mean, I'm sure it's very good. Like I haven't looked at anything about it, but it's not going to be game breaking good, is it? Because then, like, I was going to say, because then people would complain. About, like, truly pay to win, but uh, d does Call of Duty even care? I gotta say, man, I really was hoping when Xbox bought um, Call of Duty that things would change for the better a bit. And, uh, so far, that that's definitely not the case. I mean, super early into their reign, but... Yeah, uh, this gun does not handle the mercenaries at all. But uh, yeah, they, they're just as disappointing as Activision was before. <laughs> I mean, there still is an Activision. Activision is still running, but like, you know what I mean? They haven't changed anything as far as like, all we care about is microtransactions. And 100%, it's, you know, it's a business. They need to make money. I get it. I'm not stupid. I'm not naive either. Um, but when that seems to be the sole focus rather than actually again it goes back to what i was talking about at the, at the beginning of the stream uh seeing that tweet from Kone and pizza about black ops 3 and how great it was there and it just really made me think yeah i mean that's when they just had a passion for making the game uh the people in charge of making it were passionate about it they believed in uh what they were doing they had a vision for it they were super excited about it and like if we could do this, like that would be great. And just the storytelling. And now it just seems a... How many speed calls are we going to get in a row here? Now it just seems to be more of like a perfunctory, like, ah, we have to, so... I didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't know. I just want them... I just want whoever's making zombies to, like, be passionate about zombies. That's all. Whatever. This year, this coming up year, uh, Gulf War, I mean, uh, not to be too dramatic about it, but, like, this is this is it. If, if, if Gulf War doesn't kill it, zombies-wise, there's not going to be zombies anymore. Because this mode here was already controversial just because it's not round-based, because it's an open-world kind of a thing. Um... A lot of people just flat out won't accept it. I mean, I was fine with it. I actually really enjoyed the game, this game mode at the beginning of the year. Uh, I would still enjoy it if they were updating it. They're just not. But, um, so it had a little bit of a, like, you know, you're going to lose some of the community here, some of it there, whatever, like from doing different, you're trying new things. Not necessarily going to like that. Um, uh, puppy, what are you doing? This is doing nothing to him. Wow.
This gun just kind of sucks. It's not the blueprint, it's just the gun. I mean, it's straight headshot after headshot after headshot after headshot. I don't know if we should go into the... Oh, well, we're going to triple pap it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if we should go into the the rift. I mean, they're only tier 2, but we're in tier 2. And look at this. We are struggling. Oof. That is not... Uh, that's not encouraging. But again, we're going to get triple pap, so it'll be better. But still. Okay. Sending coordinates for a heavy hitter from the most wanted list I put together. Take him down. My God, I love iced coffee. Brought to you by Starbucks. Use code SWITTERS. Don't forget, when you go to Starbucks. <clears throat> Is he trying to suck off my dog? You know what I mean. That doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. Is that why he's stuck? Oh, this thing is awful. That's doing some damage. Good lord. Dog's name is Scabby. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> Dude, he just keeps healing off of my dog. I mean, they definitely broke. The Disciples again. That shotgun's just not cutting it, man. This is this is absurd. So I needed I needed the 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 scorcher to be doing that continuous damage in order to get like so he couldn't heal. In order in order for the uh, shotgun to do enough damage to actually kill him. How much health do you have left? Not a lot, buddy. No, not a lot at all. You're a tier 3 dog! Oh, man. Alright, well, whatever. Maybe Fido enjoys it? Uh... What if it's the kind of a thing where it actually feels like... it? That's how they, the, uh, the disciples get you? Because it actually feels good when they're sucking your soul out? I've had a few girlfriends. Never mind. I think my dog is gone. He might have just been taken out. <laughs> uh, yeah. He might have just got taken out, dude. Can you get a second dog? Is that a thing?
Oh, no, he's still here. It's a PhD. PhD. Dude, he likes the fight too much. He gets himself into trouble. Oh, he healed. He healed a bit. Quite a bit. It really bothers me getting picked up like that. Don't like it. Don't hit my fucking dog. You gotta take care of yourself. Look at you, you got half health. Oh my god. Why don't you go eat a dick, buddy? Sneaking up on me. I'm patting my dog. What a dick. Okay. Uh, let's go triple pat. We're gonna have to get in and out of tier 3 pretty quickly, though, because the dog, half health, man. I don't want him going down yet. I don't want him going down at all, but... So creepy. Did you guys ever watch the show? <coughs> Shit, what is it called? I think it's called From. It was like an MGM show or, um, I don't know, something kind of weird. One of those, like, off brand kind of streaming services. Um, but it had Harold Perrineau in it. Uh, who's been in a million things, man. You, you, if you don't know who I'm talking about, look it up his name. You'll... Oh, that dude, you know. Um, it's very kind of like Stephen King-esque kind of a concept. You, like, the, you drive through this town, and there is, like... You can get in, but you can't get out. Um, like, if you keep driving, you're just gonna, like... You end up doing this loop. Like, you just get sent back to the beginning. Like, there's no way out of it. But anyway, they had like a, on Amazon, they had a free, like you could watch season one for free on Amazon. But again, it was like a, a Paramount show or MGM show or something like that. Um, and whatever it was. No, trying to. Re did, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Like, like, do you know, like, did you see what just happened there? Like, I was doing the, uh, refilling my armor. Holding, you know, why? And um, it was actually refilling the armor, but it wasn't doing the animation. That's why I got I got a little confused there for a second. It's very strange. Anyway, if you have whatever service that is, or if you can check it out on uh, Amazon, I don't know if you could still watch the first season for free. Um, but it's good. Like it genuinely was like, ooh, I kind of want to buy MGM whatever for a, a a week just to watch season two. I mean, I didn't, but because what the hell else is on that service? I don't know. Oh my god, can you? Are you fucking kidding me? I literally couldn't even run away from him. Did he just kill my dog too? How many ways are there to say you got him? Oh man. No, okay. If you wonder why I chose geology over biology, that is a steaming pile of reasons right there. This game is just weird now, man. Like nothing feels quite right anymore about this game. Okay. 
I didn't mean to mark the vehicle, but whatever. We know where we're going. All right, all right. We're still going to go into the rift, man. The dark ether rift, I think. It's been a while since I've been over there. Like, I honestly don't remember. I think it's been... Has it been a month? I don't know if it's been a month. Maybe, maybe though, because that was season two and a half that we got that stuff. Yeah, it probably has been a month, to be honest with you. Hmm. So the whole story with that, too, is like, like Terminus Outcomes goes in there. Those are the bad guys, by the way. That's that Makarov and... Um, Fletcher is the guy's name, right? Um, they go into the dark ether and they get basically trapped and they're stuck and then we're actually over there helping them out. Oh, okay. I didn't know mercenaries were here all of a sudden. What is going on? Eight yes votes needed? Dude, what the hell is happening right now? Uh, I don't even I don't I don't even know what's happening. Eight yes votes needed. Like, you can't have a party of eight. And then you don't even need... All... Was there, like, a massive... I don't know what's going on, man. I was expecting to, like, open the, up my minimap and see, like, 25 people standing over by the rift in, in Tier 3. But that's not what's going on. Like, is everybody else going to disappear in a second? Like, did they all vote yes? And, like, they're just going to all get sucked up into the dark either? Am I? Even though I didn't vote yes, I'm not part of any crew. Okay, so I have one. He's back to like full health. That's good. Okay. Ah, uh, la 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 la. I don't even want to do... Marking contract. I really don't even want to do, um... Bounty contracts with this gun, man. It's really bad. I mean, triple papped... With an epic tool... In tier two, we went down to a mimic because it was taking. I mean, I, I don't know how it was catching up to me like nonstop. That like, I have stamina up on too, so I don't know how it was even catching me like that. <coughs> but it's just it's taking that long to kill it that we actually got downed to a mimic in tier two with a, a triple pap gun. Like, strange times, man. Strange times. Uh, I have a feeling these guys are going for the contract that I'm going for. And they're going to beat me there. 100% he is. Yep, he just ran in there to get it. <laughs> How many times has that happened to me today? Marking contract. Uh, it feels like a lot. i got to be honest. It feels like a lot of times. Already. That I've been going for a contract and somebody else has snatched it right up out from under me. Alright. That's fine. Alright, so I guess we're doing a bounty. Oh, it's 
That's a fucking disciple. You know what? I'm not even gonna... That's fine. That's great. I'm glad that happened. Um... I was gonna go buy some armor, but these guys just gave me a bunch of armor, which is great. Um, that's why I marked that buy, but I don't think we even need it. So, all right, I'm gonna go back into tier three. Let's just go. Get, uh, we're gonna hit a um, a wonder fizz, and we're gonna get out quick again. I'm just trying to preserve my dog. And then, do, do we need anything else, or should we just go into the rift? Did they fix, by the way? I just... <laughs> See? Why is that... There's not even anybody there. At these rifts. So, like, nobody's starting it, and it's just, like, confused. You know how, like, you... If you go by uh, an ether stronghold... I mean, a, um... Like, a mercenary stronghold or something? Or, um... Uh, an infected stronghold. Like the game just... I'm just going to try to lure these guys away. That's why I'm going over here right now. Um, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do this. So the game might think you're a part, you know, whatever. You can't go prone with that. So the game somehow thinks you're a part of it, or like for an exfil that you didn't call, like a, a different party called in the exfil, but you were near it, so it thinks you're a part of that exfil, even though you're not. Uh, and I thought that was probably the case of what was happening there, but there's nobody even near the Dark Ether Rift, so I don't know why it's going off. I didn't... Okay. I didn't swap that out. Alright, we had picked up a whole bunch of uh, armor, but... I think let's go get some more. Although we should be able to pick some up in the Dark Aether too while we're doing this. Dude, the only thing really... I mean, it's like it shouldn't make me nervous. It's like it's literally tier 2, so it, it it's really not a big deal. I'm making more of a deal out of it in my head than uh, it definitely needs to be. Google A, what's up, man? Aren't tired of this game? Are you asking me, aren't I tired of this game? Or you are saying you're not tired of this game? Or you're saying I'm not tired of this game? But we should be able to get some armor while we're in there, right? Like, we should be fine. Let's just go. Let's just go. Screw it. I mean, what's the big deal? I can't do anything worse to the, you know, like to this myself than what the game already does to me on a regular basis anyhow. So. Let's just go. Dude, it's been forever since I've been over here. This feels weird. You think it's going to crash? Watch it crash. If it crashes, dude, I swear to God. And did they fix the containment level issue over here? Like, the first day, it was happening to some people, not everybody. But, like, the first day that I they had the containment level out, just by going in, like, we did a whole bunch of contracts, and we went into the Dark Aether, the Rift, like we're, like we're doing now, and we get X-Filled. We had, like, 135 um, containment, like, from one game, which I think was broken. So, it was like, some people had their stuff taken away. I think I had my stuff added. Uh... What's up? I don't even... Blick? 
Got my dog. He's at full health. So we're good to go. Containment level 104. So it actually went up. Okay, we got Ravenov. Alright, we're alright. I really was like, it says tier 2, you know what I mean? Like, it says tier 2, but like, is it? This gun is just so not good. <laughs> I was just like, ooh. Alright, uh, let's go start this escort. As soon as we go up, these guys will start coming. But they spawn on the stairs. Is kind of messed up. We did what we could, Fletcher. Now what? Now? Dude, why are you guys spawning in here? The ICV. Get that ICV. Uh, could you help me with a mission after a game? What, uh, what kind of help do you need, man? What's the mission? Tell me. I'll, I'll verbally help you out right now. Do you mean am I going to play it for you? Or with you? No. Dude, where are all... Okay, two no, two things. Where are all the zombies? Which I'm not super worried about. But where's all my guys? They're supposed to be escorting. Oh, there they are. It's just these two? Didn't it used to be more than that? Act 2 Shepherd mission? Oh, dude. that's Yeah, that's a tough one. <clears throat> Bring in two sentry turrets with you. Uh, wait, so when you're doing exactly what I'm doing now, this ACV part... Before you start it up, just put the turrets on top of this. Um, and they'll do like a ton of the work for you. Uh, but today, honestly, I just, I, I, I can't today. And that is a hard mission, especially solo. So I, I fully appreciate uh, your issue. Um, and normally I would help you, but I really, I just, I can't do it today. I can't do anything right now. Oh, dude. I'm gonna go down. See, bringing even a regular gun in, like in the pet, like if I was using the swarms or something, I would. Oh my god! Like you insta kill this thing. That's how bad this gun is. Dude, I'm getting like I'm starting to get pissed. Golly. That's annoying. That's really, really annoying. This gun is so bad. Do I have room to storm on? Yeah, okay. I'll take it though. Keep going. Pick up the stupid ball. Ooh. Oh. Uh, 
yeah, Blick, if you're having trouble with that in the future, uh, and uh, like and if you catch me on the day when I'm streaming this game, I, I will definitely help you out. I, I just, I really, I just not today. Um, but that is a hard mission, so I fully appreciate, you know, trying to do it solo, which I did. And I, I did make a guide on it. It's not fully up to date, though, because I did it back then, before kind of like different strategies and different weapons and different everything were kind of in the game. Um, the biggest thing about that, though, is really it's the... Um, it's using the sentry guns. Two of them, again, put one in the, like here and one here, then start it up. Don't start moving it before you put the sentries on it or else it can be difficult to actually get them down. Um, and the mega abomination that spawns at the end, you don't even have to worry about him. Just like try to avoid it as best you can. Just don't let him shoot you, like hit you, but don't worry about killing him. You don't need to. So just leave him be for the most part, and just um, and just try to kick, take care of all the other zombies and everything else that's around. But don't worry about the mega bomb. Oh, this will be nice. Okay. Is there one? Like the stairwells is where like a ton of these spawn in. I'm gonna have to hit it downstairs too, but let's just check up here first. And I also need to find before we lose it. Um, is the ammo pile over here? Yes. Refill our mask so we don't lose it. Basically, that's half of all of them that we need. Stop. Reload, please. Death perception. I don't see any in that stairwell. We have four more to go. Okay, let's drop down. We need to hit an ammo pile again. I think there's one it's supposed to be down here in the middle somewhere. Dude. Okay, before I lose my gas mask, we're going to go outside and refill it. Because I don't know where that one is down there. And I'm not going to lose my gas mask. Let's go back in. Is that one, how did I miss that at the beginning? Is that one of those deals that it didn't show up, like just a visual kind of a thing? Or maybe I missed it, I don't know. All right, the, well, it doesn't have to be down here, but there's two left and I didn't cover all of downstairs, so I'm assuming that the last two are down here somewhere. I really wanna just turn one of these zombies that have to do like the work for me. It'd be great, can you do that? Thank you. I did turn one. What is that? It's outside, so that's not it. How did we get outside? Didn't mean to get outside. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. Okay. I would like that, although not that big a deal. We'll 
take that for sure. Uh, somewhere. There we go. Stow that just in case. Stow that just in case. Lovely. Is there a... Uh, I don't think we even need this. I don't even know if there is a... A turret over there, but whatever. We'll take it. Now, where is... Isn't there, like, an ammo pile down here in the bottom? I swear to God there was. I kind of want to find it before we leave. I don't, think, I don't even know if I'll ever come back here. Because literally, what's the point? You know, now, but... Um, I swear there was supposed to be one in the middle here, though. But I guess not. Oh, here we go. Take that, sucker. All right, let's let's go. Uh, we'll just boost around to the front. Appreciate you, uh, Blick. Yeah, man, I, I I I feel bad being not being able to help right now, but um, I really can't. Um, again, if you, I don't know if you're still here, but if you watch this later, whatever. Uh, also, um, in the future, if I'm you know you catch me on MW3 and you're still having trouble, let me know. I'll definitely do it. It's been a long time since I've done that contract. Kind of be curious to to do it just to do it again. That was hard though, man. That was really hard. You, some of you were here back then when I did it live on stream. The end of uh, Act Two. That was something. Scorch is good, dude. Scorch is really good. What the hell just hit me? <laughs> oh, grab that nuke. Hell yeah. Normally nukes, like, you don't want, you know, like, you want to preserve... Last one at the end of the round. They just kind of mess things up. It's kind of funny, like how much you don't want them. Um, I forgot you had to activate this. Um, but then the, the times like this, when you really do need them, like oh please, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, it wasn't that big a deal right there. Obviously, this is pretty easy, but um, they're just nice to get when you want to get them. Please reload when I ask you to reload. I don't know, like it feels like this is the... I mean, I guess they're not HVTs in here, so that's the difference, but... This gun's, like, strength is feeling wildly inconsistent, as well as fairly weak, but, like, sometimes it's not that bad. I don't know.
I mean, I give them credit. They did a great job with like these uh, moments, these cutscenes, and I mean, this is not a part of a cutscene, but like stuff like this was pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of curious what will happen if I get that electroshock thing. You know, the pulse thing goes off with this. Like, would it actually make me rapid fire this? No, you just can't do anything. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> Because if you did rapid fire that, it would be awesome. You can't do anything when that hits you. You can't run. You can't slide. You're just kind of stuck there like a schmuck. That hit awfully hard. All right, all right. Dude, this gun is so. Bad. This has never taken very long at all. And now I'm like, geez. We're in for a grind here. I mean, I... I'm just gonna put this down, screw it. This is ridiculous. It's so terrible. Oh. I swear to God, every time I want to switch over to this stupid thing. Like, I don't know if we're getting this done. This is insane. How could a gun be this bad? I mean, this is one of the worst guns in the game, right? It just... Let's just say it. It just has to be. This guy's half health. How long have we been doing this? And I just keep losing my armor. This is nuts, dude. That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> I gotta be honest, it's just so annoying. That, that pulse. Like, every single time you get near him. They come this way. Totally pinned. Okay, that's cool. How long has this fight been going on?
Oh, guy. Fuck you, fuck your mother, fuck your sister, all of you, your whole goddamn family. Okay, this is the worst gun in the game. I don't have any, that's why. Jesus, dude. Worst gun in the game. I mean, I, you guys have seen me do this, I mean, I don't remember how many times. We don't even need, like, what's the point? Of it? Well, maybe, maybe it'll come back to you someday. Um, I, I, I don't even know how many times we've done this particular fight you know we've been in here I mean about 10 times maybe maybe not even quite 10 but like we've done this a bunch and the fight is over like that normally and this gun is so bad that just took us 10 minutes I mean is that about fair that was really 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 bad Again, the cutscenes in this game, though, I will give credit where credit is due. <clears throat> You've got some explaining to do. You're hurt. By the way, I, I brought this up before. You guys tell me what you think. We know that Dr. Gray is Ava's mom. Do you think that Ravenov is actually her dad? I don't think so. Breaking the locks on a few cold case CIA files from a CIA terminal. Not exactly a challenge. <sighs> You're making a mess of that. Give it here. You were part of Requiem. Yes. What happened to you then? Maxis sacrificed herself to end the outbreak. And we promised we would find a way to rescue her. And when we failed, it was a blow. Some of us took it very hard. We vowed never to let this happen again. So you're zero for two on those promises? And I am still here, am I not, Dr. Jensen? I am still fighting. And here's the thing. You shouldn't be. That was 30 years ago. Look at you. <laughs> I, I have good genes. Oh, that's a crock and you know it. What was the focus of Requiem's Ethereum research? Dr. Jensen, Ava, look, perhaps when the outbreak is contained, we will talk of the old days. Fine. If that's how you want to play it. <clears throat> if you won't help me, I'll find my own answers. Oh, Ava. Your parents would be... So very proud of you. I don't think I don't think he's her dead. Certainly possible, but I just I don't think I don't think it is. Okay, KV broadside, worst gun in the game, man. Or right, it's it's in the running for it. Like it's definitely contention. That boss fight just took so long, dude. Uh, again, I've done that about 10 times. It, pr it probably actually has been 10 times. And every single time, you do it like that. I've done it solo. I've done it with people. Um, it's just, it's not hard. Except for when you're using a terrible gun. And it really wasn't even still hard. It was just it was frustrating because it takes so long. Um, but wow, I did not expect it to be that bad. And this is probably having something to do... Well, not probably. It's definitely something to do with them um, them being... We think it's Sledgehammer, like, in charge of the game now. They boosted the health of 
the uh, the HVTs. Not mini bosses in general. The regular mini bosses are still seem to be about the same health, and you can take those guys out pretty quickly. But um, wow, man, the HVTs. At least, you know, the, well, for every gun we've been using in the last couple of days, like, it's definitely noticeable that they have more health. But this gun in particular, this KV Broadside, is really, really bad. It's got awful hip fire as well. Like, there's nothing good about it. There's nothing I like about it. Um, we're going to pop these stingers back on because if you just saw there, one of the challenges that we have for today, a daily challenge. Uh, I don't have, well, we're going to start with five grand plus a discount. That's fine, we'll just go in with this. Um, is uh, 50 kills or 100 kills, whatever it was, with um, 100 kills with the handguns. So we can, we're can we just gonna hop into one game, we'll get the handgun kills and then we're gonna call it a day and then uh, I need to get something to eat, I need to get my workout in and then I need to uh, continue on with the Fallout TV show. I'm gonna rewatch episode one. Um, Dude, that girl, Ella Purnell, by the way, Purnell, the connection, zombies, Purnell, you get it, you know? Um, my goodness, she's pretty, isn't she? She was in that, uh, uh, fireflies, yellow jackets, yellow jackets on Showtime. I don't have Showtime, but they had, again, I love my free shows when I get them. Uh, that show from, check it out if you can. Uh, Yellow Jackets on Showtime, there was like a free week? A free weekend I got it. Um, they were doing for Showtime on my cable like a year or plus ago. And they played the entire first season of Yellow Jackets. Dude, that, I mean, I don't know how it is now, but that first season is freaking awesome. It's basically Lord of the Flies, but... Um, with girls instead of guys. Um, but man, it was good. Okay, we're gonna get our 100 kills and then we're gonna we're gonna be off. But uh, let's load this up. I'm gonna go get my coffee while this is loading in. By the way, what do you guys say? What's the verdict on the lights in the background? It looks good. It looks terrible. It looks all right. You don't care. I didn't even notice. Get ready for a gunfight strike. I mean, it's still a little bit bright, so you're not seeing it that well behind me anyway, but... <clears throat> We're gonna get one good game in here with these pistols just to show you the difference, I think, really, with the HVTs and everything. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We do not have... Right off the bat here. We don't have a pack-a-punch. But actually, we're going to. Okay. Because we start with five grand now, so we're good. Plus, we'll have the discount on on Pap because we hit um, level one hundred containment. Oh. 
I think the lights were a goodbye. I uh, appreciate it, man. I mean, I like it definitely better than just plain white behind me. Like, it's just kind of blown out and looks bad, I thought, so. Marking contract. Uh, I mean, it's definitely better than that, I think. So I'm happy with it. But. It's not like it makes or breaks the stream. It's just kind of nice to have. What am I doing? Volatile! What's going on, man? I would take that RGL, but I already have one in my... Low, uh, what do you call it? You know. You know. It's not an insured weapon, but... Uh, the, uh, oh, dude, I had it for a second. It was like in my head, and then it was gone. What do you call it? Shoot. Contraband! Haha! Okay, now, this is just tier one, but I'm single pack a bunch. Like, remember how long it was taking to kill the mercenaries with the shotgun? Fully auto shotgun? And with these pistols, we absolutely wrecked those dudes? Like, that broadside is so bad, man. That genuinely might be the worst gun in the game. Whoa! <clears throat> oh, I got an itch. I got an itch ridge on my kin. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Look at this guy. Hey, you're dead. Stupid floating guy. What are you doing floating in midair? Can't do that. Physics, bitch. Oh, that's nice. Double pap crystal for a tier one contract? Or right off the rip. I'll have it. Alright, let's go get um yeah. Moving here, marking contract. So we're gonna do an HBT. You guys saw in the last game. With the KB broadside. The last two games, we did it with the um, the conversion kit. And then we built our own that we thought would be better. But I think the real kind of uh, results of that whole little experiment we just pulled off there was uh, the KB broadside is... It just very well might be the worst gun in the game, period. Um, and the Dark ether. Mangler that we had to take down took so long, man. Like, ridiculously long. That was kind of nuts, dude. Genuinely. So we've got a mimic here. Um... Yeah. <laughs> it makes you question your abilities all of a sudden when you like, why am I not killing this mimic or this whatever? Oh, I don't want to go in there. I don't have PhD. Uh, wait, the follow show just released? Yeah, dude, it was out last night. Uh, I only watched the first episode and I need to. I, I liked it, but I wasn't paying super close attention. I didn't put on a second. Uh, What do you call it? Tacticals. Um, I wasn't paying super close attention, and I'm not familiar with the the game franchise very much. Like, look how fast that we did that. And if you're like, what's the big deal? It's a tier one HVT mimic. When you're using the KV broadside, it's a big deal. And these are pistols. I think these are probably... Again, I have to test the swarms. Um, 
I really want to test the swarms again to see how they hold up. The Lockwood is good, but it, I don't think it's great. That Bruin is good with the conversion kit, but it's a little light on the ammo because when you're using an LMG, the game expects you're going to have to shoot it a lot. It gives you a ton of ammo. Um, let's go do this. Um, and you just don't get a ton of ammo with that conversion kit. But other than that, it's it's good. Like it's definitely doable. Uh, very usable. Like you're not going to have really too many issues with it. It's just you are going to have to find yourself reloading more often than normal. But with speed cola and with the conversion kit. Uh, you don't have a huge reload time, period. Oh, actually, speaking of Speed Cola. Oh, I already have Speed Cola, right? I brought it in with me. Yes, I did. Okay, forget it. I was gonna, just going to go off the jump, but I don't need to. Um, so that Bruin conversion... Are you kidding? That, that, that right there. That They don't fix these things. Like, what? Oh! The game drives me insane, man. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that the car gets stuck was the like basically my fault, but a little bit like you couldn't back up out of that. Okay, whatever. Um, but that whole throwing. You're lethal when you hop out of a car kind of like shortly after doing something else inside of the car, like using your right trigger for the gas or whatever, like that it chucks that thing out. It just that they haven't done anything about that still. It's just wild. So even with single packed weapon pistols, it's in tier two. It's better than the KB broadside double packed in tier two against mercenaries for sure. Not even close. Like that broadside is bad. Very, 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 very bad. Where is that end spot? Okay. We detected the energy signature of a new anomaly in the EZ. Number six for this. Could you repeat? Add certain things. Repeat what? The about the Fallout show? Yeah, it started yesterday. It's good. I again, I wasn't. I was kind of distracted uh, during the first episode, and I'm not super familiar with the game. I'm not really familiar at all with the game. Fallout 76, by the way, free on Xbox and PC right now with um, Game Pass Core, even just the lowest level, which is what I have. Um, so I guess you could play that, but was Fallout 76 the bad one? Like the one that came out, the most recent one that came out, right? That people hated? Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a Fallout guy, so I don't, I don't really know. Um, do you think this guy, does he need this, you think? Hey, guy. No, he's got triple pat that. I don't know if you need that, but you can have it. Or you could just run away. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sure he already had it. He's triple papped already, so he's probably been playing the game. He doesn't need it. Um, but yeah, I like I liked I liked it, but I didn't want to start episode two because I was tired. And again, I didn't completely follow. There's the, the time jumps in it. There's a lot of time skips that go on in it. Um, and they're setting up multiple different characters, which is fine, but multiple different groups of characters as well. Some are enemies, some are friends, some are maybe both. Um, so I wanted to wait, and then like I was, I, was, I planned on rewatching today, and that's what I'm going to do, episode one, and then I'll continue on um, with the rest of the show. I didn't actually mean to do this because I am not double pap yet. You know what? It'll be a good test. I mean, we shouldn't really do that, but... 
we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. <clears throat> I bet you it's still better than the KV broadside. <clears throat> Remember how good that was? That gun was in uh, MW2, at least in Warzone and uh, DMZ. And 100%, honestly, this is doing better single path against a tier 2 HVT than the KV broadside did double path against same HVT. Let's put armor on before we get ourselves killed. Don't bog down! My slide, you should slide. But I mean, legit, dude, that's way faster killing that than the KV broadside. That's bananas, dude. Well, that put me off my lunch. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully, Dogmeat is in there first, companion. Uh, you can fall out for. Oh, uh, that, is that his name? The the dog? His name is Dog. See, there's pictures, there's drawings. I don't want to give anything away. Watch the show. Watch the show. Because um, they allude to things that I know are part of, like, the core um, gameplay of that. Like, part main character type stuff. But, again, I'm not familiar with it, so I can't say, like, I know exactly what's going to happen. but Or, you know, who they are, like, their names and everything. But, tr trust me. I heard uh, Gulf War is going to have open world zombies again. My cousin has a boyfriend that works for Treyarch. Um, well, this is this mode in in house is called Outbreak, and of course, Cold War started Outbreak zombies. Um, th we are absolutely going to have uh, more Outbreak zombies this year. Where is Tier Two Pat? Uh, that's a guarantee. I mean, I'll I'll personally guarantee it, even though I, I don't know anything. I have no inside info. But I will personally guarantee you. Where the hell is Pac? Jeez. That can't be the only one. There's always two. Oh, it's on the bridge. I didn't see it on the bridge. I think that car might have been in the way. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you that um, Gulf War... Zombies will have an open world. There will be an outbreak of zombies. Um, and if your cousin really does work for Trek and you get inside info, uh, Google A, just please feel free. Hit me up on Twitter with all that inside info. I'd greatly appreciate it. Link down below in the description. I don't know why these uh, rockets aren't doing me any damage. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm, it's just kind of curious. Okay, the, the bullets did. Quite a lot of damage. But the rockets didn't do anything. That was weird. Um, yeah, but we're going to have a... Uh, I mean, I don't think it's going to release like Cold Wars did, where we got two round base maps and then we got Outbreak. I think it's going to be like the beginning of the year. It Now, there's some weird stuff coming up too. Like, we, are we actually going to get early access like has been claimed? That's in the Opera House, right? Um, up to weeks early. You know, like the last couple of years, we've had that week early. If you pre-order digitally, you get the early access to the campaign like by a week. I don't see a player down anywhere. This game is so bugged, dude. That whole Dark Aether stuff, last last game. All right, whatever. Uh, don't take my car. They're gonna take my car. Whatever, if they do, they do. Okay. Uh, they're doing this contract, so maybe they won't. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna release, like and it's, some of it's gonna depend on what happens with this whole early access thing. Um, it'd be great if we do get a little bit of early access. I mean, I think it would be great if we get one map early, like that would be cool. Um, if we don't get it and it's just like all at the release of the game, that's fine. I don't want them to do, I told you they're gonna steal it. I don't want them to do um, like what they did in uh, in BO4. Marking contract. <clears throat> I told you they're gonna steal my fucking car. Um, 
And at the beginning of the game, they're like, here's four maps, because you don't know what to do. Like, you do shit, go blind, uh, I don't know, like, ask your girlfriend to marry you, What I don't know. Just you're, you're, It's just all confusion and weirdness, and you don't know what to do. Um, so I hope it's, like, one thing at a time. If, and I would love it, if they had plenty of maps, like, ready for us this coming year... But do not release them two at a time, three at a time, five at a time, whatever. Like, if you've got extra maps or more than, you know, the standard. I mean, like, if you started playing with Cold War, that's not standard that we get one map at the beginning of the game. It's actually, like, two. But, like, do one a month for the first five or six months. And then if you've got a couple little things extra left over, like, great. But don't release multiple at the same time. It's just, it's too much. And it really kind of divides the quote-unquote community as well. Because, you know, they don't know what to pay attention to. It's like, well, they're thinking like, well, if you don't enjoy this kind of gameplay, maybe you would enjoy this kind of game, you know, for, for the maps. And it's like, you're just splitting up the player base. And, you know, I don't think that's particularly a good thing. Um, let's focus on one thing at a time. And then, you know, we'll get there at the end. That's how I would like it to go, but I think probably what's going to happen is if we do get an early map, it's not going to... I wouldn't think it would be Outbreak this, but you never know. I think... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm actually virtually positive it won't be because the new Outbreak mode is going to be on the new map, which is Verdansk, which is an old map. So actually, now that I'm thinking of it, we probably won't get Outbreak at the beginning of the year. Um... Probably won't be till December or January, whenever they're going to actually release the new map, which I don't know exactly when they have that planned. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, just in, in the past, what they've been doing is, like, the game comes out, and then a month or two later, the new Warzone map comes out. So, But the game this year is coming out in October, rather than... Nice. Um, rather than November, uh, for a couple of different reasons, but whatever. That's not really important at the moment. Um, so we might very well get two round based maps. So it might actually be just like Cold War now that I'm thinking about it. We might get two round based maps before we get the Outbreak version uh, in Cold War, which again is going to be on probably Verdansk, uh, unless they change something up, which I doubt, but you never know. Uh, it's going to be released in February, he said. The Outbreak maps? Okay. Oh, so, so the new Warzone map. Um, that's a little bit late. That would honestly, that would really surprise me if it's that late. Uh, because one, just in the past, it's been December. I think it's been January actually. Um, and two, it's a remake already of a map that was just a few years old that they did in Cold War. So that they would have to delay that for some reason would be unusual to me. So I don't know. That seems a bit off. But who knows? And by the way, just I need to throw this in every time. Like I'm totally cool with the outbreak mode. Uh, even in Cold War, I thought it was fine for the most part. Like it was a good introduction. It was a good first attempt. I think the game mode itself was like a little boring, um, the way they had it. Uh, more than a little boring, to be honest with you. At times, it was quite friggin' boring. Um. But it was their first attempt at it. Like, it's okay to... You don't have to start at, at an A+. And I think we, as a quote-unquote community... Because you guys know I hate the word, like, it's the zombies community. Like, we're all one. Like, we are definitely not. Sp just speaking of Outbreak, like, some people like, absolutely hate it. Uh, that they're even doing an open-world thing. Like, zombies is round-based. What are you doing? You can't change... The okay. Um... And then just even within a certain game or, you know, like nobody, not that nobody, but um, people don't agree on what the, the best map is. It's not universally like this is the best map. This is the best Easter egg. Like some people like Origin, some people like DE, some people like Shadows of Evil. Some people think World War II is the best zombies game ever. Um, you know, blah, 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 and on and on and on. And other people that like, you know, will have horrible things to say about all of the above. 
So, it's just a lot of different people that play zombies. Or, and let's be honest too, like there's a growing number of people. I see it in my comments daily on stuff that I have made in the past about like World at War, Nocturne and Totem being on Forsaken. That video thankfully is still doing great. Over 6 million views now. Um, but I get people commenting on that every day like... Uh, you're not supposed to shoot them on in the early rounds. You're supposed to knife them to get max points, or you know you're supposed to shoot them in the leg three times and and then you knife them for the kill. Like, it's not actually World at War Zombies, stupid. It's fucking Cold War. Like you obviously haven't played it, so why are you commenting on it and telling other people or like me in this case, but you putting it in the comments so other people can see like that this is supposedly the way to do it when it's not. That's because you have the nostalgia people that never, 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 probably, honestly, won't, won't play zombies again. But they just like to dip back in once in a while when they see something on YouTube and like, oh, yeah, I remember when I was 13 years old and me and my buddies, the boys, we'd come home from school and we would fuck up Noct and Varuk, man. You remember that shit? That was awesome. It was the best time of my life. Okay, that's kind of sad. I feel bad for you, but, uh, you know. Not the case anymore. So the community is not a community. It's just a bunch of motherfuckers playing zombies. Or that used to play zombies. I just balk at the word community. Like we're all together in this. We all have the same ideas and thoughts. And like we all agree that this should be that. Like nah. No we don't. Plus this is all happening online. What good if it would be if like people weren't complaining nonstop about how bad anything is it doesn't matter what it is or how good it actually is but we need to say it's awful it's terrible it's the worst thing ever it's the best thing ever and the first week it releases it will be the best thing ever and then two weeks later it's gonna be like this thing kind of sucks actually now that i think about it and then for the rest of the year it's gonna be like nah, it's fine it's okay well it kind of sucks i don't know i don't like it and then six months after the game uh has ended and we're into the new game you know what that last game was pretty fucking great. That's the Call of Duty, man. Okay, I was trying to get in. I wasn't trying to shoot my own vehicle. That would be a stupid thing to do. Why would I do that? Dude, these pistols are good, man. This is what I'm talking about. Dude, with that broadside, I wouldn't have gotten a kill yet. Okay, we got a lot of zombies here. <laughs> you don't want to get too far away from them, by the way, though, because um, damage uh, drop-off at range is... I mean, they're pistols. They look like SMGs, pretty much act like SMGs, but they are still pistols. Like, did we handle that horde like that with this? Like, it's pretty good. Might be the best guns in the game right now. And the tier pistols, you know, dual wield, are still very good. It's just the same problem I've always had with them is the the lack of ammo and it. it's just you're constantly reloading um <clears throat> and for me i don't want to be reloading non-stop all the time you're running away and reload running away reloading running away reloading oh my god Dude. okay you know what i'm not even it's just not even fun anymore He lasers you, even when you're behind something, like the, the, there's like a splash damage effect, and it just destroys. There's the 100 kills we needed. It just completely, you just, your armor is gone in an instant.
All right, we should actually make sure we're close to the building because if he starts lasering again, I need to be able to duck behind cover. Be a nuke. And I was telling you guys about this uh, yesterday and the day before, but if you weren't here, I think they buffed the uh, Mega Bombs just because, <clears throat> not just the HPTs, but the regular Mega Bombs as well. I think they buffed them just because it was like, this is supposed to be our big bad of the, the game. Like, this is the big, ugly, scary monster of the game. And, um, like, we had figured out how to beat them pretty easily and regularly. And they just, I think they just took it away just to be like, no, no, no. It's supposed to be super hard to beat this thing. So we don't like that you're doing it fast. Shoot it right in the butt. Try to hit me with his tail. Dude, that tail whip is vicious. He got me with it, somehow. See, now, what I could do normally, or in the past, is just head... Whoa! Head to this ammo pile right over here on my right and refill it. But if I step out too far from his line of vision and go into a building and do whatever, um, he's going to regen all of his health. Or he'll disappear. Oh, bad time to reload. There we go. Which is a new thing. I mean, it's not completely new that um, from time to time he'll uh, he'll despawn when you're kind of in the middle of fighting him almost. Um, but it happens, like it's literally happened to me. We had it happen, well the other day he followed me from here, exactly where we are now where we just fought him, into tier one by the exfil uh, right outside the military base. Uh, but I've also had it be like in the same basic area here in tier three and then uh, literally in the middle of fighting kind of over where you get the cargo contract in tier three and he'll like I go around like the, the where the wonder Freeze machine is and I break line of sight and he'll despawn completely and then he spawns up like uh, 30 seconds later in the same area full health so I don't know what's going on with that I'd call it a bug. Plenty of things I would think w would be bugs, but you never know with Sledgehammer, man. They might really think like, yeah, no, no, totally, that's how we want it. So, who's to say? Desperately trying to reload there. Thank you so much. Oh, that's something they need to figure out as well. The hold to reload rather than tap. When there's anything on the ground, anywhere near you, it just flat out will not reload. More <clears throat> we actually still have more time than I thought. So let's go get another contract done. I really wish I had my Scorcher still so I could just fly over there. Dude, Scorcher is so nice. One, it does a lot of damage. It's, it sucks that, you know, there's that long charge up time to, to do a charge shot. Um, but even tapping it, the single tap, shots are still powerful they just don't last very long um but it's just i mean just for getting around the map it's just so lovely to have so yeah after armor i think it might be my like number two thing in the game what was that explosion <laughs> i don't even want to know it's fine don't want to know. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to heal the car. Get some points. 
We don't need it for anything anymore, but gonna get them anyways because we're here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's just nice now using weapons like actually work. <laughs> Dude, that broadside is so awful. I wonder how the Lockwood would be. Oh, not the Lockwood. The, um, what do you call it? Or is that one called the Lockwood as well? <clears throat> What's the double barrel shotgun? Put mags of holding on that. Check that out. That's what, that's what we should do the next time we play this. Haymaker? No. See, I think it was the Lockwood in previous games. But the Lockwood is... Or maybe it's just the base version of it? Is it a di It's just a different number? The Lockwood 380 as versus the Lockwood... Whatever else? Yeah, it's the it's the it's the double barrel shotgun. It's got two you know two rounds in it, total. But I wonder how that would be with mags of holding. We might try that. Like I said, next time we uh, play, next time we stream this, we might we might try that out. Again, as of now, if you weren't here earlier, there's a custom map coming out tomorrow um, called the Crazy Place, which obviously is uh, Origins related. So, uh, we're going to give that a shot. Origin is my favorite map of all time. Well, favorite combo map and Easter egg. It's my favorite of all time. Um, the map itself is, I think, good. I don't think it's an incredible map in and of itself. But um, when you include everything, to me, it's the best. Um, why is this showing? Does it think I'm doing an escort contract? Did the game think I was doing an escort contract there? Do you think that's what just happened? Or are these guys do no, these guys are doing an escort. Okay. I was like, oh boy. Might have more problems than we even thought. Uh, Striker is your favorite? Is the Striker good again? Or now? Was it ever good? It was good in multiplayer. The SMG? Is it good in uh, zombies now? I'm trying to think. Was it good at the beginning of the year? And I don't remember. The Striker. Marking contract. In the beta, it was like the best gun, period. That was multiplayer, obviously. I just don't remember. I mean, I obviously used it to have Borealis camo. I don't remember how it was, though. Miller to Officer Green. Uh, our automated perimeter turret just went offline. Sending coordinates for a heavy hitter from the most wanted list I put together. Take him down. Do -do -do. Why are you asking Soap? Soap's dead. Dude, why is he flying away like that? Come on. What are you doing? Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god they nerfed the flamethrower, man. Or else the game might just be broken. Thank God they did that. That is definitely where they needed to spend their time and energy. I couldn't agree more. It was game breaking. It ruined the game. Everything else is pretty much perfect. 
Like, I don't even know what people complain about. Everything else works just fine. Just fine. Just fine. I'm gonna have to... Oh, God. I'm gonna have to get one of those neck braces because I'm getting whiplash. Uh, how many disciples are over here? Jesus. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna be able to get this done. We, <laughs> we're gonna do this. It's target practice, but this is good target practice for you. It's exactly how the game is supposed to be. This is how it was always intended. This is not a bug. Totally a feature of the game. See? There was no problems there. That was totally normal, to totally how it's supposed to be. Absolutely. I will just say it again, though. I'm glad that they're nerfing the powerful weapons and focusing on the real problems, which is those weapons are too strong and they break the game. I mean, because as is, the rest of the game is virtually perfect. I mean, I don't even see what they could improve. There's really no bugs. Um, no glitches, nothing game breaking at all that would ruin an experience. Um, you know, the server side too, like all that stuff has been, I mean, since, you know, the, at launch there was a little bit of an issue, but like basically since then it's been, I mean, virtually perfect. So I don't see what the problem is other than, you know, I'm, I'm glad that they're focusing on, uh, Getting those OP weapons out of the game because it really, you know, I wasn't enjoying anything about the game when that was the case. I don't think you guys were either. Um, and you know, one of the things, you know, like sometimes you think you're having fun because um, you're having, you know, good weapons that are fun. To, I mean, not fun to use because you think you're having fun, but it's, it's not actually fun. You're just being, um, they're kind of messing with your brain. Like it's not fun. You just think it's fun. Um, and that's not how it's supposed to be. You know, this is a video game. This is super serious stuff here. Like, you can't take this lightly. You shouldn't be having a good time while you're doing it. You should be super intense focused and wondering why, like, your weapon isn't doing any damage. Is it your fault? It's not, but it's that's how they want you to think. So that's good. Like, when that's happening to you, like, when you're having an existential crisis when you're playing a video game, that's exactly where you should be. That's that's entertainment right there. That's video gaming. And that you know what, Sledgehammer man, they 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 come through. I'm telling you what, they absolutely come through when it comes to that, especially for the zombie stuff. You know, um, like nobody's ever had any fun playing any Sledgehammer games, and that's how it should be. It's not fun. They're zombies, man. They eat people. It's not fun. It's scary and it's bad and it's awful. And that's how the game should be. They shouldn't even call it a game, because I mean, that implies fun. That's how this experience should be. It should be awful. Just like zombies in real life would be awful. And that's, you know, so when you say, like, oh, I don't care for their games, you're basically saying you don't like real life. Because this is how it would be awful. And you're like, yeah, but I'm playing a game. It's your fault for thinking of it as a game. It's not Sledgehammer's fault. It's your fault. So, you know, get that out of your head right now. Chopper 
inbound. Marking contract. Now this is weird to me. Sorry to break the silence. Um, <clears throat> when the storm starts rolling in, like I get, you know, like all the zombies are running away from the storm and all that kind of pushing forward outside of it. But like, why is why is it happening now? It's not there yet. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just curious. Where was that? Ammo? Got my people to safety and just in time. It's starting to rain cats and dogs out here. Undead cats and dogs. Time's up, team. Storm's here and it's expanding fast. Get to an extract dealer before it's too late. No position, team. I'm starting this storm fast as I can.
Okay. Well, that's that for today. Um, we regained a little bit since yesterday. We got Snoop Dogg over 100 containment again, which is great. Um, everything's good. Yep, terrific. So, let me actually, I'm going to make a little note to myself. What did I say I wanted to try out? I do want to do the swarms. Oh, the Lockwood. Let's actually look that up before we go. Ah, uh, that's shoddy. And then, I swear to God, there was something else I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, we got the cool light. Although, you can't even really see anything right now. I, the blinds are completely closed. It's just... It's so... The, the, the walls are so white that it's just washed out. And we're about to get that... Um, that new melee weapon there. Which will be fun to give it a shot. You know, it's a... It's a... It's amazing. Yeah, was it the lock with it? I was thinking. I swear to God, there was something else I was thinking about. Um, I just can't remember, though, at the moment, what that might have been. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we are done with this, though. Like, we know that this is terrible. Um. <clears throat> Six eighty. Now, what? Oh, is it this that I'm thinking of? It's not this. Because there's six rounds. It's this. I think it's this. The MW2 gun. Um, so this is the one that we've been using that you can... Um, with the attachments that you can put on it, you can make it very good. But you, it really is necessary, depend, it, it's dependent, I should say, uh, on the attachments. This, um, I'm kind of curious about that. I think we would have gone sawed off anyway, right? I really want to try this with the mags of holding. Flinch resistance, gun kick control would be nice. Crash movement speed, aim down safe, don't care about that. That would be good. Um, what is this? Dual shot. Oh, ooh! So that's like double damage, but you're—it's like basically this attachment. You—you you have the dual triggers. You're shooting both at the same time every time. So actually, I don't want this because that would be like uh, double tap 1.0. Where one bullet, basically, you shoot once and it actually shoots two bullets. Uh, and it uses two bullets rather than uh, uh, um, uh, double shot, double shot, double tap 2.0, which is you shot one bullet, but it did twice the damage. Uh, so actually, we're going to unequip that. Why is it still checked? Okay, there we go. Uh, do I want to put this guard on? I want to, that sounds like it's something worth trying. What is this muzzle? Hip fire, okay. Okay, that's good. We'll leave that. Uh, wider pill. So, okay, you, you've got, see, this is the thing with the blueprints. Hip fire and attack, attack stance uh, spread is better. Tighter pellet spread. And then you go, okay, great. So what do you have here? A wider pellet spread. I mean, I know that it has other pluses and minuses, but like... These blueprints, dude, I don't know. They don't make too much sense to me half the time. That's what we're going to go with. Um, <clears throat> this laser, is this the good laser that we want? It is not. Hip fire and tax mans. Sprint to fire. That stuff's all better. Okay. Pop that on. And then we're going to go with the uh, no stock. 
This is for tomorrow, by the way. Just in case I didn't mention it. Um, I've... Yeah, I've never used this. Not in this game, anyway. We used it, apparently, a couple of times in the last game. Um, none of it looks good. We can still chuck on the monkey bomb, though. And then we'll give this a shot tomorrow. I don't really like that it's a super long barrel. Maybe that was why they had that barrel on. Aim down sight speed is super slow because it's such a long barrel. But again, we're really, with a shotgun, we're pretty much not going to be aiming down sight. Almost ever, except for when you have the HVT. Like if you get up close, you can aim right for its head. So you're doing extra damage. But at, the, at that point, like I, I think we'll be fine. So we'll give it this a shot tomorrow anyway, and we'll see how it goes. Um, let me just go ahead and put a mags of holding on my character at the moment. It's still three hours until that cools down. Um, oh, I don't have any. Wow, okay. Uh, we can equip that just so we get it out of there. Equip that because we're going to use it. Still have three scorches. We have three spots in here now, which is nice. Got the extra VR11, which whatever. We can go ahead and put Shatter Blast on because who cares? Why not? Um, whatever. We'll leave it there. Um, so we'll try that. Oh, I, I guess maybe not tomorrow, but the next time we stream this. Because uh, tomorrow, hopefully, will be the crazy place uh, custom map on BO3 been a long time since I played any custom maps I think the last one Wow was the last one the um, Derizon Drock 2.0 what did they call it the Iron Dragon I think it might have been it's been a while dude um, so hopefully that yeah that uh, map will come out tomorrow and hopefully it's running properly again it's a custom map so you never know right off the bat there could be some issues but uh, it should be fun one way or another like I said Argent's is is uh, oh water park yeah 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 oh you know something speaking of water park thank you for that um the creator of that which I think was Danny is his name with like three ends if you're on Twitter um he's got a night version of that coming out and he's added some it's basically I think it's like the same Easter egg but it, there's a nighttime version of it and um. I think I got like a couple of different side Easter eggs that he's added to it. Something along those kinds of lines. So uh, that could be fun to check out as well in the future. And I do have a couple of other maps that I downloaded for custom, VO3 customs, that I've never played. Uh, some of them, like Leviathan, you guys know. I don't know. Like I, That's like a, a chore. I mean, it's, it's an amazing map just from watching other people play it. But solo especially, like it's like... We're talking like trying to do Origins really for the first time on BO2. It's going to be like a three hour game, three to four hour game. Or actually think think of doing Blood of the Dead solo for the first time. I, I think it's a good way to look at it. Um, so anyhow, uh, but I have a couple on there that some of them look pretty interesting. I mean, they, they could be shit. They're custom maps. I don't know. Um, but we can have a look at through some of those things tomorrow as well. So I don't know what time that map releases, but it should be like, I'll, I'll probably go back to streaming normal time, meaning lately for me, which is like five to 6 PM Eastern time, uh, Pacific time, not Eastern time. Um, and I don't, like I said, I don't know what time the map actually comes out. I don't think it's, it's probably like early during the day though. Uh, like 9 or 10 p.m. my time, so. I had 10 a.m. Dude, I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, I'm going to go get something to eat because all I've had today so far is like one little protein bar, and uh, I'm going to blame it on that. Um, that's it. Have a great day, and I will catch you guys tomorrow with probably the crazy place. Later.